Okay, so week nine butterfly guard. Um, let's look at um, keeping our position when our opponent pressures us um, from that position. So again, I'm playing butterfly guard, Kings having to stand up. Um, from there, we're hand fighting, we're he's bent down. Maybe um, I'm, I wasn't paying particular attention. He gaps my feet, gets me on my back, and fills that space with his knee. Now, again, you'll, you'll come up against people that are really driving this knee nearly into your chest, and it's very hard sometimes for me to create space to sit up. Sometimes I need to put a scoop back, but he'll fill that space, and I feel like this can't sit up and do the last technique. From here, it is okay to move back. So from this position, very much like taking a stand-up, I'm coming up on my elbow, and I'm going to put my left hand in front of his knee. And I just, then I come from my elbow to my hand, and now I'm just going to put a scoop back. But again, Kane can move forward. And I'm like pushing his knee, and I don't want to get into this battle of just continually moving back. So this, the, the, you know, once he starts to move me back, my goal obviously is to get shin to shin. And once I get shin to shin, it's the same story. Okay, I cut the leg, hand goes in the knee, elevate his leg, getting his hand on the mat, and I'm straight into single leg X again. King stands up, more position. I'm gonna find that leg. Let's have to take him over. It's okay, no problem. Again, we're into the whole leg lock game. Um, which we'll look at next. We'll keep it really simple. I'm gonna lean back, drive the leg across, and then my right hand, as I come up on my left elbow, against the far hip. If you tend to stand up and into the leg drag pass, control the inside space, hug the head. And I move in this side control. So that again. Here up on this side here. So we want to deal with someone who's pressurizing pressurizing me. Because his whole goal is to get me on my back. So maybe when he worked from the hand fight and he's bent over, and maybe he beats me to my to my feet, gets my back on the mat, and drives forward, he's being really aggressive, and this knee's driving continual into me. This is not good for me. We don't want to play a butterfly guard flat on our back. We want to be seated. And I feel that his foot's really tight to my hip and I just feel I can't get up. So now I need to back off. So all I'm doing is I'm putting my left hand on the lead leg and I'm coming up with my elbow. But now I'm on head height so I'm coming from my elbow to my hand and I'm just moving back. But good players will follow you. And I don't want to get into the whole butt scooping the whole way back. So as I move back, he's following me. And then he brings my shin in. So I use that butt scoop back to create space, okay, to get my shin in front of his, and now we're shin to shin, we're, we're into the same story again. It's very hard, if King now drives forward into me, drive forward, I can elevate his leg. He's not going to get past my shin. And now from that position, can't use yourself. <laughs> from there, it's cheating. So when I um, elevate his leg, he's going to push with his hand on the map. I split his legs with my right knee, and my left leg comes to the outside and chomps down on the hip. And again, we'll be looking at this um, on the next measure cycle. There's a ton of things from here, but we'll keep it really, really simple. I'm just going to turn my hips from my right to my left. Weave inside. And now we're into the 50-50. Bend your leg or up. And we're here. Okay. So we'll end in that position. And we'll be um, looking at that position in the next um, measure cycle. So again, one more time on that. Yeah, he beats me to my feet, gets my back on the mat. He's being really aggressive and driving forward with this knee into headquarters. And I feel I physically can't sit up and do the last technique. So my hand's going to go on his knee. I come up on my elbow. I butt scoot back, but good players will follow you. Okay, so now I butt scoot back. So I fill that space before he can scoot forward. And then from that position, now if he tries to drive forward, I can just basically lift the shin off the mat. From there, I'll split the legs, okay. um, drop them onto this hip, and then from here, I'm going to the leg lock game and control, control his leg, bring him to the other side, and then I bring my leg through. And we'll end up in the 50-50. Okay, so 